Rob says, what is your favorite exercise to add size to your calves? Reps. Reps, reps, and reps. Time of the board, a here. Thank you for joining me as always. And today we are going to answer your questions. I have around about 20 of them. Thank you to everybody who asked. And if you click this video, you probably want to get into that. So let's just do it. And the first one comes from Bogey. Let's hope that's not their real name. Who says, how do you stay motivated to do the things you're supposed to do when feeling down? You know you have to do something, but the world's just been beating you down so hard. It's fine the will to do it. Love your videos on any channel and your positivity. Have a nice day. Well, thank you very much, Bogey. I appreciate that. We talked about this before, but we can always talk about it again. I'm always happy to talk about that kind of stuff what you have to remember is that you are not going to be up for something 100% of the time you're a human being right and that means some days you're gonna have good days and some days you're gonna have bad days and I think one the sooner you accept that the easier that it is and also two and you would have heard me say this a lot of the time just be cool with having emotions be I mean you're never gonna be cool being sad and upset or worn out or not having that motivation but if you just accept it and go like, okay, well, this is what being a human being is, you take such a huge weight off your shoulders. Now, you still need to get back on your horse and you still need to get through to the other side. But what I feel a lot of people do is they get into this down state, as you would do, because we all do, want to hammer that home. And then they go, oh, I can't believe I'm feeling like this. Why can't I be stronger? Why can't I do this? No, forget all of that. Forget strength. Doesn't matter. Irrelevant. Just focus on you. Try and tap into what is making you feel that way. And then trying to come up with a plan to make you feel better. And do not forget as well, motivation is great because it will make you do something. For example, if I really want a glass of water and I'm motivated to hydrate myself, I'll go and do it. But I can also just go to the kitchen, fill up a glass of water and drink it. There's nothing stopping me, right? Because technically I am in control of all of these things that I do. So if you really don't want to go to the gym just go. Now, every now and then you should take a day off because that may be your brain telling you you need to rest, but just go. Nothing can stop you. You're in control of your own destiny. And again, never forget the greatest piece of advice ever. Usually do 90 minutes in the gym on the days you don't want to go and do 45 because straight away in your head, you'd be like, oh man, only 45 minutes. That's going to zoom by and it will do. And then you know what happens nine times out of 10, you stick around and you do it the hour and a half anyway. So acceptance, I think, is the key. Remember, being a motivated person doesn't mean you're motivated all of the time. You are going to have those slow days. Embrace them. Try and take something away from them. Then they weren't even a waste of time. And move on to Dan Miller. Maybe a relation, who knows. Would you consider writing up some routines and putting a charge to them, much like other fitness YouTubers do? I'd definitely buy a Miller routine. Well, that's very kind, Dan, but of course you would. You're a Miller. So you've essentially just told me you're going to buy your own routine, which is kind of smart, but not really, because you're never going to have a surplus or a deficit. So maybe it's the greatest business ever. Now, yes, I am planning to do this. And I started around about you know, three and a half months ago, but then I broke my hand. I know, boring, boring. Who cares about my stupid hand? But it's, I wouldn't even say it's halfway done. It's like 3% done. So what I'm going to do is at some point in the indeterminate future, I am going to release a push-pull legs workout plan. There'll be videos to accompany it. It won't be very uh, polished as other ones that you've seen because I just don't have the capabilities. But I am going to put it out there and it's going to be super duper cheap, like 10, 12 bucks, something like that. And I'm going to make everything very clear why I think it works for me, why it may not work for you because I want to be as transparent as possible. But yes, at some point in the future, I will make a random video and it will say the Simon Miller workout plan is live. And you can get it or you cannot get it. You can do whatever you want with it. And Sean Chan says, if you could pick one moment in your life, childhood or adult, that shaped you into your current self, what moment would that be? I ask because you seem like a really well put together, good humored, good physique and well educated so and so. So I'm curious what that moment was that put you on the path. Well, I don't think there's going to be any one moment that did that. And I would argue that in my own life, I don't feel like I am a well put together person because I have worries and I have stresses and ironically, I'm up and down. But it's cool that it comes across that way because, well, I don't want to come across like a loon. <laughs> that would be no good. But I can't tell you one specific moment that did whatever it did. But I can tell you, I was bullied really badly in school, right? I moved around schools a lot. And it's really difficult when you just walk into a brand new friendship class. People are like, well, who's this new guy? We don't like him. Bully, bully, bully. And while it was horrible at the time, few yeah, well, ages ago now, 10, so years, 10 years plus or so ago, I just embraced it and I just came to terms with it. And I used all of that to shape who I am today. Like you always see jokes on the internet, right? You either had sex in high school or now you're a success, right? Now I'm not saying that I'm a success or, or anything like that, but it allowed me to understand myself maybe earlier than other people. And it made me realize the things that I wanted to try to achieve. For example, making sure I do YouTube videos. So once I was in it, I never gave up. I wanted to make sure I had a bunch of wrestling matches. So I got in and I never gave up. It was the same with the gym. Once I was in the gym, I was all right, I'm gonna keep going, keep going, keep going. And that may just be in my nature, but I also think that it goes back to that time where I was bullied horribly. And it gave me a bit of a hard edge, I suppose. But it also gave me this 
hopefully, this cool ability to just not worry about what other people think. And that Now, it goes back to what we said in the first question. Me saying I don't worry about what people think of me doesn't mean that you can't say something to me and hurt my feelings. Or some days I read a comment like, oh, I can't believe they said that. No, that's far too black and white. But in general, no, I don't care. Like, it's always nice to hear good things about yourself. Of course it is. It raises your self-worth and it makes you feel good about yourself. But, you know, people can hammer me on the internet, for example, all day long. I'm like, you know what? This is great. I honestly do see it as a positive because it means I've done something where people give a crap about my opinion. And that was always kind of the idea when you get into YouTube. You want people to care. Like, otherwise, what are you doing it for? And for the love of the game, of course. But yes, I do think bodybuilding shaped my life and people say to me, no, do you want to go back and change it? And you probably would, because at the time, if you told that, you'd be like, yes, yes, please. But now, because that's not an option, yeah, I do think that had a huge impact on me. And yeah, it did shape a lot of my morals and the way I like to treat people and the way I expect to be treated, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I'm grateful for that, I suppose. Again, 20 years ago, no, now, yes. But Dog Sports says, is it possible to reach a satisfaction when it comes to working out? Or will we constantly go crazy trying to chase that perfect look? By the way, you're the man. Thank you for all your hard work and humor. My bald brother is very refreshing. Thanks, dude. No, you're never going to be happy. No one's ever happy. Bodybuilders that step on stage aren't happy. Brad Pitt and Fight Club isn't happy. Chris Hemsworth and Thor isn't happy. The Rock isn't happy. In one way, it's really, really good because it keeps you chasing the carrot. On the other one, you're kind of like, well, why are we doing this if there's no end game? And it's why you've got to enjoy the journey. You know, have that goal. Have those small achievements that you want to make. But ultimately, just accept you're never going to look how you want. So take away the good things. If your delt is looking awesome one day going, man, I have a superb delt. And then move on to tomorrow. Limon says, hey, Simon, love the viz and your personality is awesome and inspiring. That's very nice. I should read these beforehand. I struggle to say nice things about myself, so thank you. Do you get burnt out from being so disciplined and going to the gym? And how do you deal with it? Yeah, you take a day off. Absolutely. Make sure you rest a bit or change up your plan if you've been doing it for a long while. That's the best thing to do. You can't do anything for a prolonged period of time without getting a bit sick of it. It's just life. Like if you were going to have sex for three hours, trust me, after about an hour, you're like, I'm bored now. Can we go play Nintendo or something? I don't want to do it anymore. And it's the same with the gym. So always make sure you're changing it up always make sure you're enjoying it maybe sometimes you need to leave the gym entirely and go do something else like mountain climbing or a boxing class etc all of that is absolutely fine uh, i actually haven't lost my motivation for a while because i keep getting injured <laughs> i keep getting injured wrestling and therefore when it's time to get back to the gym i'm absolutely desperate for it but yeah they are always the best things to do and it's good to know that as well burnout's a very real thing and you don't want to experience it boyan says simon if you could choose would you either continue all your great content creating your great content or rather have a career as a pro wrestler in a big promotion if the latter, which promotion would you prefer to be in? One love. P.S. You are an inspiration for me, and I'm doing my best to stop using heroin. Wow. And get back in form after four, four years of drug use. Thank you, Simon Deserve an Up. The most devastating up in all sports entertainment. Well, first of dude, I hope you're doing all right. Uh, addiction is a crazy, crazy thing with many layers. So you have all my thoughts and all my positivity. And I, I never answer questions like that, which I know sounds stupid, but the way I approach my life is you add, you don't take away. So if a contract landed on my desk today from AEW, WWE, I'd sign it because it's an opportunity. And if that meant by proxy, I had to stop doing the content and you stop doing it because as much as I love doing it and would love to see it grow and get bigger and that become its own niche all of its own you're going to get to 70, 80, 90 years old and go, why didn't I sign the contract? Why didn't I sign the contract? Because you've got to do it, right? You just have to do it and see where it goes. Even if you fall on your ass, that's okay. Because you know, and it's far better to deal with, I don't even see that as failure, but we use that word. It's far better to, to deal with failure than it is regrets. Because you can't change regrets. Whereas failure, you're like, well, I gave it my all. It just didn't work out because I absolutely suck. So there's no massive preference either. I mean, I've always said this. If you sign for WWE, you've smashed it. If you sign for AEW, you've smashed it. If you sign for Impact, you've smashed it. New Japan, these are huge companies we all talk about all the time. They don't have AEW jokes about the roster, but it's not like thousands of people. So if you have the talent to be able to get your foot in the door, you genuinely deserve a pound the back. Edward says, Simon, how do you motivate yourself to be so positive? And is there any tips you can give to remain so positive in your everyday life? Also, how is your hand? Uh, my hand is okay. It is going, I'm seeing a specialist because it needs some work. It's basically healed, but it's healed all screwed up. Um, so I'm able to go to the gym again and do lightweights. Wrestling is a big question mark, but one stage at a time, you know, that's the only way to, to deal with these things. And it, I think we've kind of talked about the the, the um, staying positive thing. Again, I, I've used the phrase I've used constantly. Being positive doesn't mean you're positive all the time. You just try and have a positive outlook. You know, when things come into your face, you go, oh, I'm going to try and be positive about that. And I don't want to repeat myself, but I do think embracing the negative stuff and just accepting that it can come along is a positive way to deal with it. And that's what positivity is all about. So if you're going to sit there and cry your ass off because you've had a bad day, I think that's a good thing because we have tears for a reason. Brian says, who is your favorite Pokemon? Also, would you ever like to wrestle in Ireland? Would love to see you in OTT. Yes, that'd be absolutely amazing. Uh, nothing else I can say about that. OTT is a top tier promotion and I would genuinely be thrilled 
if they ever wanted me. That would be crazy. And my favorite Pokemon is probably Machamp. Rob says, what is your favorite exercise to add size to your calves? Reps. Reps. Reps and reps. David says, what game or games have you completed recently that you've really enjoyed? Well, the most recent thing I played was Metal Hellslinger. The demo's out now. I played it on Xbox and it's flipping excellent. It's just metal meets rhythm action, which is basically what Doom was anyway. The Doom that came out in 2016 and then Immortal was 18, 19, whatever the hell it was. It, it's, it's just that idea. You've got crazy metal music. You've got shoot things in time to the beat is excellent, and it's all I want from video games going forward. DW says, what is your ultimate wrestling goal? Also, you rock, you're the best part of what culture, and you're hilarious, and that's very kind. Shabbat shalom, my brother. Shabbat shalom to you too. Uh, at the moment, just to get back to wrestling and start having weekly matches again. You know, I think when it comes to wrestling goals, you've got to be short-term with them. Everyone knows what the long-term goals are. So, yeah, right now, I need to get my hands sorted. I need to get back in the ring. I need to get my game up again, because it has slipped ever since COVID, because I have not been able to get back into a routine. But we will do this. It's going to take me longer than I had hoped, and I still get people going, Simon, you so injury prone even though every injury i've ever suffered has been due to somebody else falling on me which i don't really think how i can stop but yeah that's my my goal right now is nice and simple get back in shape so i'm not happy with the shape i'm in at the moment get back in the ring and get back up to a standard that i know i've had before code blue says hey simon i was wondering if there's going to be any more retro ups and downs it's one of my favorite things and i'll be sad if it goes i can't answer that question very sadly uh, you know i'm a man for hire i am employed by what culture but they send me work and they say simon can you please do this and i say yes and I totally understand that. They want what they want and they don't want what they don't want. It hasn't been on my list of work for a while. That's totally cool. Again, it's their company and they're allowed to run it however they want. I do enjoy doing them muchly. So hopefully it will come back. But at the moment, I can't tell you. Rumax says, how is the acting going? And will you be uploading any acting projects if you're still pursuing it? Yes, very much still pursuing it. I have acting class today on the day I'm recording this. At the moment, I'm going to the Identity School of Acting twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Super intense, super crazy, super different, super weird. But I'm enjoying it massively. And, uh, you know, I'm applying for roles here and everywhere two i did my first self tape the other day which was terrifying we just look over here and go i can't believe you said that to me but it was you know it's a really cool experience to get to do it and anything i can upload absolutely i will 100 percent upload but i'm in the training phase i suppose at the moment looking for an opportunity which is really hard but yeah acting is uh, especially with my hand and not being able to wrestle right up there at the moment and let's hope we can do something jerry says simon do you have any amusing anecdotes about your time in wcbw slash defiant also what is your favorite biscuit shortbread is probably my favorite biscuit i love it and i can eat them all day long man so much happened i mean my cool anecdotes i don't necessarily funny ones but i got to bret hart needed uh, a lift back to his hotel so i was able to get in the taxi with him that was pretty cool because he needed help with his bags etc you know riding along with your resting hero is no bad thing and um, i remember one time we, it was on the show that matt hardy was on and john morrison was on that show too and he went around to all the what culture guys going actually i've got the story i tell you a minute but john morrison went around to all the what culture guys going oh, i love this video i love that video because john morrison's just the nicest man ever genuinely i love that guy he's so so kind uh, the funniest one was probably bully ray was on that show and everyone that worked WCBW knew ahead of time, somebody's going to come up to you from what culture with a camera and you're going to do an interview. That's part of your contract. That's part of your deal. We bring you in, pay you a lot of money, but we want to make sure that we get an interview. So we went out to Bully Ray and we went, hi, Bully Ray, uh, can we have an interview with you? And he said, oh, where are you from? We said, oh, yeah, what culture? He went, who? <laughs> with a lot of other expletives in there. We're like, WCBW, you know, with the what culture YouTube channel, WCBW. And he went, so? <laughs> As I've learned other people talking about him. I just think he likes to be intimidating, which worked wonderfully, by the way. And it, it took about eight minutes to convince him that he, we wanted to do this interview and it wasn't going to be bad. I'm pretty sure he knew what was going on. But yeah, that made me want to cry. Sebastian says, are you going to be doing ups and downs from Clash at the Castle at the Stadium, just like you did at WrestleMania? I'm flying to the UK from Poland to watch my first ever line event. And I really hope to be able to do that. We'll be doing it, man. We'll be there that uh, September weekend, I think the third and fourth. So yeah, when you are done with Clash of the Castle, if you want to be on a live ups and downs, come find us. I'll make sure I tweet out the information beforehand. We'd love to see you. Jamie says, hey, Simon, do you still speak or see anyone from Cultaholic Triple Jump anymore? Uh, Triple Jump recently put out a wrestling training video and it was hilarious and made me wish for a reaction video to it from yourself. Yeah, I haven't seen them in ages just because they live up north and I don't and COVID, etc. But yeah, those guys are great. Everyone at Cultaholic, everyone at Triple Jump. I love them all. I hope they do well. Triple Jump are very kind to me because they parody me constantly. And I did see that wrestling video too with also a good friend of mine known as Drake. So yes, just big love to all of them and I hope they continue to smash it. Dylan says, hey Simon, are you planning to do any more videos about the Money Maker Miller character and how you find being a heel? Yes, when I'm back in the ring. There's only so much I can say about promos, etc. Although I will try and upload some stuff on this channel soon. I'll, I'll talk to the promotions. But yes, 
The answer to that is yes. Melon says, hey, Simon. Imagine it was a real melon. That'd be awesome. Huge fan. Always enjoy your content. Thank you. What kind of breakfast is your favorite? Cereal. And Stephen, I've screwed yours up because there's a big dislike button over the top of it. No idea what happened here. What do you truly think of Hookhausen? I love them. Mainly Dan Housen. I think he's brilliant. I concur. Lewin says, will you be at the Progress Show in Manchester later this year? I will, and I'll be hosting it. And Harold says, are you still planning on wrestling at Thunder Rosa's Mission Pro Wrestling Show in Texas? You bet your ass I am. August 20th, me versus JP Harlow. If you're in the Texas region, go to their website right now and buy a ticket because I want to see you. That's it. We're done. Thank you very much for your questions. I do appreciate it. We will do another one far quicker than we did this one. I forgot to be completely honest with you. And I was like, well, that's content. We can do it. Also, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Hit the bell ding ding so that the video is going live. There will be a video on the screen. Please do give it a click and leave a comment below. Maybe you want to ask more questions. If I can, I shall answer some in there. Grillamind.com forward slash Simon. You can suddenly get 10% off. These are fitness supplements I like, and I promise you will too. Great sets power 13 cookbook. Come follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Simon316. Patreon.com forward slash Simon316 for exclusive videos and support me that way on cameo if you want to shout out a birthday message or whatever it may be and also got simonmiller.bigcartel.com lovely to see you goodbye